How is it going everybody? You're watching Denabal Tech and today I bring you the best iOS 15 hidden features. That's right, today I'm going to show you those features that you didn't see in WWDC and you won't find really easily here on YouTube because those are not the main ones, the biggest changes, those are the secret features that I absolutely love. If you actually want to see those big ones, the main changes, I'll have a link right here at this card and in the description because I have a video showing you the biggest changes in iOS 15, but if you want to see the hidden ones, that's this video. So let's get started. First, I want to show you the clock app. And I know you're going to love this. So if you want to create a new alarm, you're going to tap on plus and the old slider is back. The old school way to input your time for your alarm is actually back. You can slide up and down to select your alarm, to select your time. As you probably know, in iOS 14, the only way to change the time was by tapping here and then tapping on my keyboard. It was very annoying. And now the old school slider is back. You can just save and there you go. iOS 15 introduced a feature called Live Text, where iOS recognizes text everywhere, absolutely anywhere on your iPhone, from your camera, from your photos, anywhere. Let me show you. So if you have any photo on your photos and there's text on it, you can just tap on it and then it'll recognize that it's text. And again, this is a photo. This is an image and I can select anything that I want. I can select the whole thing. It doesn't matter. So I can just select, as you saw, I can select this line. I can copy it and then I can go, let's say to the notes app and I can paste it and you can see the text paste absolutely perfectly. But live text does much more than that. Let's say you want to write something down. You want to take note of something, but that something is in your environment, is on a board or on a sign, and you just don't want to write it down word by word. You can use live text to actually read that. Let me show you. So you can tap here and then you can go to text from camera. And then as you can see, your keyboard becomes your viewfinder and you can see your camera and you can just let me show you an example. So I'm going to put, I'm going to get that card with my name, with Danibal Tech, which is not my name. And I can just point at it, as you guys can see. And I can tap on insert. And as you can see, it works absolutely perfectly. Danibal Tech right here. So if you're a student or if you are some, somebody who attends classes or anything, this will absolutely save your life. Trust me. The next hidden feature is right here on your home screen and it's a new widget. It's actually a mail widget. We didn't used to have that before. We just didn't have the mail widget before and now we do. And if you use mail a lot like I do, this is incredible because you can have your widget on your home screen showing you either your two first emails or your four first emails always here. This is lively updated. It's awesome. You can simply tap on one it'll open instantly and automatically so fast, so quick, really good implementation. Now let's go back to the photos app and check this out. If you have any photo on your photo library and you tap on it, you'll have this new I button or you can simply swipe up and you'll have a ton of information very easily from that photo. So as you guys can see, you can see that this photo was saved from Instagram because I took it from my Instagram and then I just saved it from the app. So awesome. You can see the time, you can see the day, uh, you can see the name of the file, you can see the device the photo t was taken from, so an, iPhone, an Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max from this iPhone. You can see all sorts of information about the camera, which camera was, the resolution, the size. <laughs> How amazing is that? Like wh where the photo was taken is not available. That's because it was saved from Instagram. But if I took a normal photo, and location is turned on, you will see your location. So how amazing is that having this feature to check all your details from the Photos app? Now let's talk about FaceTime. And if we open FaceTime, you'll see that it has quite a lot of new awesome features. And one of the coolest ones have to do with this. So if we pull down the control center, you'll see those two new buttons and they have to do with video and microphone effects. So if we go first for video effects and we tap on that, you'll see that we have 
two options pretty much uh, portrait off and portrait on and the portrait effect is that famous effect that you will see yourself uh, in a good resolution focused in the middle and the background will be blurred so then you can turn this on or off while you're facetiming and of course we also have mic mode so the microphone effects if we tap on that we have three options the standard one the voice isolation and the wide spectrum keep in mind that you're selecting your microphone mode let's say so we have the standard one the normal one the voice isolation where your microphone will pick up your voice and not the background and you have wide spectrum where your microphone while you're facetiming uh, will pick up the whole environment if you want the person to hear your environment as a whole not only your voice all right so you have those two new buttons so two options for FaceTime. And speaking about FaceTime, if you're talking to someone using the Messages app, you can FaceTime that person straight from the chat. As you can see, you have the new FaceTime button right there. You can tap on that and you can select if you want to start a FaceTime audio call or a FaceTime video call. You can tap here and you can FaceTime straight from the Messages app. Now let's talk about some new hidden features in Safari. And we have quite a lot and all of them are great. All right, so the first one I'm gonna talk about is the new translate feature. So let's say you're browsing the web and you have a text here and you wanna translate on the go. You don't wanna to move to any app. You don't wanna copy or paste. All you have to do with Safari in iOS 15 is tap on the text and then scroll the part you wanna translate and then tap on translate. And then now you have the possibility of seeing the translation right here very easily. Uh, as standard, it'll come from English to Spanish, but of course you can tap here to change uh, language and then you can change to any language. Let's go to Portuguese from Brazil, which is my choice. And then it goes to Portuguese. And of course you can play in here uh, the computer speaking that as well if you want that, if that's good for you. So absolutely amazing. The other new feature we have in iOS 15 uh, in Safari, apart from the fact that it went down, right? The URL bar went all the way down to the bottom. Uh, all you can do if you wanna refresh a page is just pull down and then it'll refresh. Cool, right? So as you can see, there's a new spinning wheel so you can pull down and refresh like as you would refresh any page, any app in iOS, you can do that in Safari now, very cool. Now let's talk about tabs. And if you tap on the tab button right here at the bottom right corner, you'll have this new array of tabs. This is a new screen and you can rearrange those tabs very easily by tapping and holding and then simply rearranging if you wanna have some page at the top or at the bottom. It's a new way of seeing as if we have pages, really. I like this new look. And you also have the possibility of closing those pages in a very easier way, which is just swiping from right to left so you can close pages just like that. You don't need to press and hold or press on that X icon, which is really small. You can just slide to close. And the last Safari hidden feature is right here in your settings. And then of course, let's go to Safari. So let's look. Okay, we got it, Safari. And now we have extensions. Cool, right? So if we tap here, we have extensions and I don't have any installed as of yet, but I can just go ahead, tap on more extensions and then the App Store will actually open up on Safari extensions. So it'll open up on that section and you can check out quite a lot of awesome Safari extensions for your iPhone. This is new. And amazing, I love extensions and I know you guys love it too. Now let's head back to the Notes app and another very cool feature that we all loved that just went away in previous iOS versions is back. And that is the magnifying glass. So if we tap and hold on any text, now we have the magnifying glass again. And I absolutely love this. I just think it's a much better way to select your text letter by letter, seeing it in a much cleaner, much more modern way. Magnifying glass is back. Another really cool feature in iOS 15 is the fact that now you can manage some settings individually per app. Let me show you. So as you can see, I have my notes here and I can pull down my control center and tap and hold on text size. And as you guys can see, I have two options right here at the bottom. I can adjust the text size for all my apps or just for notes only because I'm in notes so I can control it individually for notes. So let's say I wanna control just for notes 
and I can increase all the way to like 310%. So I can tap here, tap here. So as you can see, everything is huge in notes. All the buttons are huge. As you guys can see, done, back, all the buttons are absolutely huge, the font and everything. And this is only for notes. If I actually go, come back and go to my settings, you can see that everything is normal on my settings, but my notes is still huge. So this is nice having this ability of individually controlling your settings for apps. And last but not least, my final hidden feature is right here on settings. If we scroll down and go to general and then scroll all the way down to reset, we have this new button called prepare for new iPhone. This is absolutely new. Uh, this was never seen before. And if we tap on that, it crashes. It doesn't work. So you tap on OK and it just crashes. It doesn't work for the moment. But I believe what this will do is just pretty much guide you for your new iPhone. So this will help you back up this device, uh, erase everything and all the content from this device and then unlink this device from your Apple ID. So have it ready so you can get your new iPhone. I believe that's what it is. But of course, we don't have the information just yet. It just doesn't work. But I think it's pretty cool. And this will be very useful if it does it well done. And Apple always does it well done. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do. I really love filming those videos, those hidden features and secrets. I have a blast doing it. And I hope you guys do it too. If you did, please make sure to leave the like below. All right, like button, very easy, helps me out a lot. Also the subscribe button and the little bell icon, it also helps me so much grow the channel. And the comment box, let me know your comments, let me know your thoughts, I really do appreciate, all right? So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in a few days as usual, bye bye.